In this lesson, we're going to look at downloading CryEngine 3 from crydev.net, installing it on our computer, and how to get it launched. So the first thing we want to do is come on over to crydev.net, and when you get to that front page, you will see the download the free SDK. Go ahead and click there. That'll take you to the download, and download that now. Go ahead and get that downloaded, and once you do, wherever you choose to put that, in my case I just put it in downloads we're going to uh, unzip that file with whatever application you use to unzip your files in this case I went over and created a folder CryEngine and unzip to that and you should get all of these folders in here now it's important to understand that uh, a lot of these like many applications you do not want to go in and mess around with you don't want to go into editor there is no executable in here to run. The only place you want to look is depending on whether you are running a 32-bit system or a 64-bit system. Choose the appropriate folder, in my case 64, and you will find two executables. An editor and a launcher. Now in this case uh, you can come in and launch from here I actually uh, created a shortcut and sent it to a folder I have on my desktop for uh, all my applications. But we can go ahead and launch it from here once you have this editor. We'll double click that. And we will wait for that to load. Now as that loads you're going to get a Crydev login screen. You have to have an account with Crytek in order to use CryEngine 3. So if you already have one, great. Uh, you can go ahead and log in. Otherwise, you can click Create Account and Create One, and then get logged into the system. So now we will uh, get this loaded up, and I will be right Now, once that uh, Crytek comes up, if you have the latest version, you will get a small screen asking if there's a map that you want to open. I have gone ahead and closed that out. If you have an older version, you won't get that. So we'll just go to File and Open, and we will pick Forest, which comes with it, and we will open that map. And I will pause while that loads, and then there we have our forest map that Crytek uh, gave us to look around in and play around in. Um, I have gone ahead, you've probably got some sound, I've gone ahead and muted that for right now. And if you want to just run around in it, we can hit Control G, and that will put us into our game, and we can do a little run around. Running around controls are the same as most games, W, A, S, and D. Mouse button to fire. I, ap I apologize for my uh, computer chugging while I run my recording software and CryEngine, but we will do our best as we move along. So you can go in and just play in this map, follow the path, run down to the shoreline. There's a little fishing village down there. It's some kind of neat stuff. And then from there, we are going to move on and look at doing some of our own things in CryEngine. See you in the next video.